There is a formula for the length of the diagonal of a cube, and I thought I would show you where that formula comes from. It's probably a homework question, um, so you may want to see it from a homework standpoint as well. Now, uh, keep in mind, this only applies if all three dimensions are the same. If it's not a cube, if it's just some other rectangular box kind of shape, you're going to have to go through the, the full process every time. Um, anyway, uh, so this is an x by x by x. I've done this with variables. This is technically an algebraic proof. We're using variables here to, to prove the formula. And uh, anyway, I'm going to make my right triangle here like this, okay? Um, the base here is an x by x square, okay? That's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, right? Because we've got two equal side lengths. Uh, we know that you multiply the side lengths by radical 2 to get the length of the hypotenuse. So that is x radical 2 there. Uh, this side is x, meaning that side is also going to be x, all right? So to prove this, or to come up with a formula for this, uh, what we really have here is that inner right triangle. We have a height of x, and we have a diagonal of x radical 2, okay? And according to the Pythagorean theorem, we can take this side squared plus this side squared, and it's going to be equal to the hypotenuse squared, okay? So this squared, that's x times x is x squared. Radical 2 times radical 2 is 2. So we have 2x squared plus x squared is equal to c squared. Okay? These are like terms. They add up to be 3x squared. So if c squared is equal to 3x squared, that means c is equal to the square root of 3x squared. Okay? This looks weird, but it can be broken down. Remember that you can break down um, a square root as a product of a perfect square, x squared, times another number. Okay? The square root of x squared is just going to be x, and it's getting multiplied by the square root of 3. So it tells us any time you have three equal sides on a cube, three equal dimensions, which makes it a cube, it's an x by x by x, you can always multiply the side lengths of a cube by radical 3 to get the length of the diagonal. Or if they give you the length of the diagonal, you can divide by the square root of 3 and you can get the side lengths. So if I had side lengths of 4, 4, and 4, this would be a 4 radical 3. 5, 5, and 5, diagonal would be a 5 radical 3. If I told you this was an 8 radical 3, you would know that it was an 8 by 8 by 8 shape. Okay? Now, if it was something more complicated, you know, say it was something like uh, 7 radical 6, you would have to divide by radical 3. 7 radical 6 divided by radical 3 would give you 7 radical 2, and that would be each of your side lengths. But anyway, the pattern, very simple. Multiply side lengths by radical 3 to get the diagonal of a cube. Divide the diagonal by radical 3 to get the side lengths of the cube. Hope that helps.